Welcome, welcome everyone! We are live with the Closher Cup Season 4 and this match is single elimination match because we are streaming match from the lower bracket. It is between the Navi and Clash. Dr. Jonas is in. Coming in as first for Clash. And we'll be using uh, Luther. We are starting here with the Flame Flinger from 6 o'clock. And we are also starting the Queen from that side as well. So Luther will be trying to uh, Queen charge the Town Hall. He's not deploying the healers yet because there is the air defense on the right side, but the expo doing some work. So now healers, you can see the angle of the healers to making sure they are out of the range of the air defense. We also trigger the tornado trap and picking up some of the uh, scatties and also pulling the CC at the same time. Very nice cocoon there, picking up the seeking air mine. That's exactly what we wanted. Now the queen is kind of safe. Only the expo is hitting her, so she can handle the lava. The flame finger slowly po uh, moving for the expo here. All right, we, saw, we have some lava pops on the healers. Okay, freezing around the spell tower. We don't want to make the town hall invisible. Alright, Flame Finger is almost done with the X Bow. So now the Flame Finger will be slowly moving for the Scotty Shot. But hello, there is the Giant Bomb. So it did hurt our Flame Finger. We have the King on the other side. If you remember, this one was attacked, which we were. Something similar was happening on this base uh, today. I think so. Cass or Luca, I don't know. Someone from Alexei was doing this long, long green charge. And it was like kind of down fell. So this one uh, will be definitely issue with the time. Like he opening the core of the base for the queen. But we have one minute, 12 seconds left. A Yeti were able to grab uh, the scatter shot here. Now he needs the queen go inside the core of the base. Where is the eagle? One minute left for the clearing like over 50% of the base. Using the wooden ability Isis and the Tom. Already done with the enemy queen there. Queen is moving slowly towards the eagle and the multi inferno. Big group of the loons pushing on the mono, but we lost a bunch of them, so uh, not many loons left. Invisibility spell on our seat, there's still enemy king. That queen is so far away from the multi inferno. She's more interested uh, against the enemy royal champion, but at the end, she can grab the scatter. I see Ben with the shield, so she did some damage to the defenses, but uh, sadly, she didn't survive the fight with the enemy king 24 seconds left he's using the queen ability queen is beating oh that wall we need warden with the diggy to take care of these defenses diggy triggering the giant bomb we got the multi inferno now warden and diggy is on the x ball nine seconds left even cannot send a minion because of the air defense i think so he's smiling is this gonna be three star it is 99 it is 99% town fell. Very nice try from Jonas. We have Gaku coming in here as the first for Navi. Let's get him on the screen. Gaku will be using, whoa, seven bots. And we have combination of the kill squad where we are bringing two titans with the six super archers. All right. Starting with the wooden walk as the first. I'm curious if he's gonna be pushing for the scatter shot with that warden. Oh my, warden is more interested in this storage, so we are not wasting any time pulling the warden now with the queen. On the other side, we are using the uh, king, we have phoenix with the king, and Lusa will be starting from this side, alright, opposite side of the town hall. So the Titans and the Super Archers all coming in here. King funnel the right side, so the old kill squad should go inside in the core of the base. And we already see the jump spell here as well. We will be blimping the town hall, so he will be catching the blim and the tom, I think. Oh no, that blim being freezed by the ice golem! Now we are using the modern ability, but the blim is not moving! Can finally the blimp made it towards the town hall. There is the single inferno which is log on the ice golem. 
Now the blink triggering the tornado trap, but we land and I can hear the sneakies. So far all these infernos uh, on the south side are gone. Now we need a single inferno. And why we are doing that, we are starting with the bat. So he bat bomb the scatter show. There is some of the skellies, but they are ground scale, so that doesn't bother our bat. Now the bats are splitting in few groups. Royal champion, enemy one is still chasing this bat. Baby dragon, are you serious on that visit tower? Okay, we are taking down the splash defense there, protecting this bot. Why his kill squad is still keep going? He still have two free spells left, so all he has to do keep freezing around the visit tower and the scatter shot. Us even helping with the shield. Last free spell, beautiful play with the spells there, and Gaku will be hitting OP three star. Like how you, I, I just don't understand, like he knows everything, right? Like look at how many parts he still has. That was OP plan, wow. Nicely done from Gaku. I don't even think I saw like super archers with the titans as the kill score I saw it, but I don't really uh, think I saw it with the bats and these bats did amazing job like he bat bombed the scatter shot and he cleared everything on this north side and you can see the bats at the end finish here like wow what a op hit okay let's go rupert coming in a second for clash so clash started with the 99 percent tofel there Let's see what Rupert has ready for us. It looks like it will be super bullish strategy. First of all, we are starting with the uh, Blim here and deploying the Queen behind. So he wants to take down the uh, Monolith, protecting the Queen charge. Uh, not using the Raid spell, the Yeti Mice is uh, more than enough to take down that Mono. And of course, pulling the CC. He is now on the Queen, who is on ready, Raid spell ready as well, as we are fighting these Headhunters and the Lava. Right, just waiting for these lava pops to disappear. Let's see what we are doing next. So far he has uh, two super wall breakers and a jump spell here. Do you think he will be like trying to clear one of these sides where we have the raid spell tower? I think so that's from uh, we will go with the kill spot. So we will be kind of ending on the town hall here. All right, this. Okay, so the baby dragon just setting up the funnel, and we are starting from the corner here. Uh, Queen already fighting the enemy royal champion. He's using the free spell there. I hope so that Queen will be joining the bolas because right now she's kind of far away from the bolas, and we have healers on her. She is beating the wall. Of course she does. She is beating the wall. Are you actually kidding me? Okay, she's on the multi inferno. Now she's on the eagle, and with the jump spell, she's gonna meet finally the kill spot. He's using the uh, invis on the uh, bowlers because we don't want to lose them that early. But if I see incorrectly, we have only one super bowler left, and that's all thanks to the queen because the healers uh, stay on her. Now we are still far, far away from the town hall. He's using the uh, jump spell there. So let's see if the queen can get the town hall. She doesn't have the ability. We don't have freeze to protect her. Hello, this can be issue. Okay, so he is kind of dying in the beans of the town hall. So the most important is the take down the town hall. King with the ability should be able to take care of the enemy king. That's gonna let the royal champion. No, I think so. It's gonna be two star. I don't think so that RC will be struggling. Like Diggy helping there. It is Xbo on the RC. But as he still has shield, so she's gonna pop the shield, boom, 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 see, the town hall is almost done, so it was good that we have the king here, because the king uh, took care of the enemy king, if he doesn't have the king there, it would be issue, but it is a safe two star, but as you can see, it is second defense uh, for Navi, very nice try from Rupert. But that's all because that queen went this way and started beating the wall, and we didn't have the healers on the bowlers. Yeah, it was still nice save. So true. So very nice try. Uh, sadly, it's not gonna be high person. This one is a uh, lower person here. 66 only. Nice try. Here we go. Oh, this is cool. You actually can exactly see him playing on the phone, you know? 
You can see him how he's deploying the troops and everything. Okay, Command Crew starting here with the Queen Charge. Okay, that Queen is quite low health. We have the Headhunter to help her fighting the enemy King. I hope so. We're not gonna be using the Queen ability here. Okay. Now he's looking everything better as the enemy King went down. Headhunter triggered the giant bomb here. And let's see what we are doing next so far the queen can reach the eagle he has log launcher on the bar and he's de uh, deploying the log launcher from the nine o'clock corners the log launcher is hitting the eagle soon it will be hitting the multi inferno but also opening the wall for the queen all right baby dragon just helping to funnel to make sure that queen not going around the base here and also speed up the process so she can start hitting uh, these infernos using the another raid spell on the queen that is also enemy ward and hitting her now the log launcher broke so we have rocket balloons and the yeti which hit a spring trap oh ripperoni okay we pull some of the cc <laughs> okay that queen help he froze the cc now the queen is in the range of the inferno Okay, we have poison on the lava. This is crazy queen charge. I saw that queen dead few times. All right, queen is almost... Oh, oh queen, you missed a bunch of uh, lava pups. They are hitting your healers, queen. Help them. Invisibility spell on RC, but he made the inferno invisible. Now he's freezing. Oh, we made a mistake with the invis. That Inferno went invisible, but Royal Champion probably can finish it, she did. Okay, nicely done, nicely done. Alright, so far, we are, we are good. But we have only 50 seconds left. Let's go, Lalo. Okay, Queen is down. That's bad. That we already activated. He's hasting, freezing. At this stage, we have no spells. We will have only the Warden ability. And we will still go against two scattershot and the enemy queen. Tornado trap being triggered behind the town holder. I can't imagine how these loons can clear it. Oh, uh, any chance? Like we are sending bunch of loons from this top side on that scattershot. Wooden sitting in the pool zone. Alright, bunch of loons are moving for the mono. We have like one headhunter for the enemy queen. But even the mono and the scatter shot is issue for us. Like the warden and the owl was able to grab the monolith, but it's not gonna be enough here. Very nice try from our uh, common crew, but wow. <laughs> I saw that queen dead so many times. 89% to start. Nice try, nice try. Alright, we just saw Command Crew with the crazy, crazy Queen Charge. But as you can see, Clash got their first defense. Now we have Alex coming in here with the Zap kills for Lalo. So we already used a bunch of lighting spells, but it's most important we got a read, get rid of one of the raid spell tower. Grab the uh, Scatter Shot there as well. Now we're using the Skelly spell to distract the Monolith because we have the King and also Golem going that way. And these are the troops and heroes which have a lot of hit points, so we know how strong the Mono is against this kind of troops. Now the Log Launcher is in as well. So Musa will be sending like King, uh, uh, RC, and the Queen to kind of try to clear all bottom side of the base. Sadly, Royal Champion fighting the enemy queen so that's rc has to use the ability his queen die king going around the base this is not the body which we are looking for we definitely want like the log launcher yet is right now stuck on the scaries so he didn't even go this inferno of course the eagle and queen didn't go the scatter shot so th these are the extra buildings which we have to fight now and the lalo will be very very hard Okay, so far we are still pulling the clan castle troops, so we have like uh, some of the ice golems going for the uh, king, but you can see on his face that he's not happy of what he is watching right now. He didn't just get out. The plan! Plan is breaking, guys. It's gonna be tough. He's trying to get rid of the multi inferno on the north side. Even didn't get a good split. Many loons went for the visit arrow. Now Lou's going closer to the town hall, he's using the warden ability there. 
and we need these wounds to go away from the poison as fast as possible. We have Lava still up, tanking so far for that air defense, but his wounds are taking just way too much damage. And sadly, this is gonna be not a defense for Navi. Very nice try from Alex. I really, I really like the plan. I think that plan was uh, decent. It just didn't work, you know. It sadly didn't get the value with the heroes and uh, the log launcher. So we have so far 78%. Yeah, his cleanup is right now chasing the king 79%. Everything that could go wrong went wrong on this hit. You can see on his face, he's not happy about it. Very nice try, Alex. Very nice try. Uh, stars coming in here. And Stars will be using a Lalo, Blizzard Lalo. Okay, let's go. Okay, Stars coming in here with the Blim. I guess he will be uh, landing somewhere around the Eagle. Yep. And just blizzarding around. So let's see how much value he will get. Already some yummy buildings. Look at this, getting the Inferno. Now they are going for the enemy royal champion. Sadly they are not interested against the older buildings. They went for the ice golems, but he still got the, uh, some good buildings like the Eagle, Raid Spell Tower, Inferno. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And of course we pull the CC, so... Letting the queen fight in these ice golems now. Okay, he has two super bull breakers. Okay, he's using the ice golem. The ice golem needs to start tanking because his queen is a low health. So he will be letting the queen to reach the scatter shot. Now he's using the first of the wall breakers. So they're opening the wall next to the uh, mortal. Okay. Don't tell me he's going for the town hall here with the heroes. Are you serious? Is he seriously planning to take down the town hall? Like he even deploying the RC on that side. Okay, starting with the looms. That is the multi inferno. I think some royal champion actually triggered a poison. The monolith is on the queen right now, that's gonna force her to use the ability here. Towel isn't activated, but will get activated any second. Very nice freeze, letting the queen to grab the mono. Now big group of the loons are over the town hall, he's sending the headhunters because he's trying to catch them in the top. Four headhunters on the queen here, nicely done. Okay. His queen is still alive as well, because I think so. she was under Tom too. Royal champion still of, uh, alive. We are uh, using the freeze over the scatter shot. I see with the shield. Boom, boom, boom there. Uh, Sleepy, don't do that. Oh my, Sleepy, no. Uh, Masi, I'm so sorry. 34 seconds left, guys. Stars. Got it. Like, totally smash it. What a beautiful hit uh, from him. Nicely done. Nicely done. Wow. Okay. And what we have? Titans. Give this up. Alright. Zapping the multi inferno and the X bow. Alright, so starting with the warden. Did you notice, like, he's bringing a uh, yak? It was a long time ago I actually saw yak. Oh, Jonas, very nice try. I don't know who jinx you. I don't know who jinx you with the town fell there. Nice try, nice try. Okay! Yo, yeah, no! It's still, he still used the warden 
ability there. Oh, Ripperoni. Oh, sadly, Warden ability was used and now this is going to be much, much harder because we have no Warden ability for the kill squad. I think they are going inside the core of the base. Sadly, even the multi inferno was like one more hit from the Warden. Maybe he let the Warden hit it. You know, the healers wouldn't be in the trouble. Now we can hope this healer is gonna start moving away from the range of the multi inferno. He's trying to save with the RC. Even everything is kind of going wrong for him. He's still trying to have it under control and trying to recover. So Queen is on the town hall. We have the ability there, so we can take down the town hall. So that's not the issue. RC now being slowed down by the skellies. Uh, I think, I think, if you know what is crazy, like that Warden is the last hero who is alive. I know that we have Arcee, but we lost the Queen. The Warden was the guy who was struggling at the start, and now he's the last one. Very nice try. It is not Clash Day. Is not. Frogger Chingson. Oh, Frogger, hello! We haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? You know what was the saddest one? Like, that was like sad. You you were la you were smiling because you thought that you're gonna get a triple, and after the 99 happened, and after say, seeing that sad smile, like sad face, that was what like you know with the cameras on, you actually can see the emotion, the reaction of the players. Kazuma coming with the Hoggies! 21 Hoggies! Alright, so can you get the multi inferno? Deploying a bunch of rocket balloons there. I saw Kazuma her. Okay, enemies on her. She's still alive, isn't she? Okay, she is. Now I think Super Bowl break opening the ball front of the enemy queen. They need another Super Bowl break that way he can uh, I think so that Bull Breaker open this corner so the queen kind of have to go around. But she doesn't have easy time, like everything is hitting her, even the eagle, poor unicorn is gone and it also cost him the a warden, a warden, uh, oh, sorry warden, uh, queen ability there. Now we have the king at the 6 o'clock. Oh, the queen never ever go for the town hall, isn't she? She's walking guys. She is walking and the most scary we have Hoggy is. Is she gonna go back? He's sending the Super Bowl break. Come on Queen, go to the right side. You know that you want it. Oh, uh, whoa, no way. Is she actually going to the right side? Are you kidding me? Fanny is taking out the multi inferno. Oh, that Queen is dead. That Queen is still dead. You could saw it on his face. The Queen went down and only what we can do is go with the hoggies i don't even know if the hoggies will go for the town hall we maybe don't ever want that yeah the siege machine is good call siege machine is good call modern ability also protecting rc the slammer should have enough for the town hall okay we got it we got it town hall went down so we are hitting the safe 2 star. 
but it will be hold. Oh, that queen went wrong way. That queen went wrong way. He he panicked. I don't really think that he panicked. He just like on his face, you could see like, oh why, you know. Like you could tell that he wasn't happy about what was happening. But very nice try from Kazuma. It is high person. It is decent person. Oh, Zygor coming in here. Let me. All right, here we go. Oh, this is a uh, cool apartment. <laughs> okay, so we will be using the uh, super minion blim here. Let's go. Now hold went down quickly. Now we want that multi inferno. Come on, multi multi. There we go. Taking down the multi inferno. Also doing some uh, damage to the enemy clan castle troops. Actually, he get a read of uh, headhunters. Uh, Inferno Dragons are in. Nice, can it spell distracting the mono? That uh, table looks like flag, it does. I noticed that too. Alright, so big group of the Inferno Dragons is inside the core of the base. We have another group of the Dragons which is clearing the scatter shot with the heroes there as well. Now they are kind of split into the three groups, okay. Uh, how bad is it? Is it gonna have enough for these Infernos? And the Eagle, he's using the free spell, there is only Dragon Rider left. Sun is not gonna be enough, so these buildings are still staying up. But we can send a Royal Champion there. Uh, we still have Warden up, not for the long time. The Warden tank in the scatter shot. Now the ice is coming in. Oh, there's two set of skellies! Two set ground of skellies and it is Ripperoni. That RC is just like almost dead. The RC didn't ever move. Like the worst scenario for the Royal Champion and boom. It is hold. Nice try, nice try from Psycho. Send two star. So the final score for Clash is a 10 star. GG to them. But how I was telling you, this one is a knockout match. If you guys are watching the Clasher Cup season uh, 4. And it is much from the lower bracket. Why don't see Klaus on the camera? Uh, hold a second. Why is not Klaus there? Am I blind? Huh? No, I don't see Klaus. I don't think so Klaus is using the camera. Cannot find him. Are you gonna put Jonas on the screen? <laughs> So we have someone on the screen. Jonas with smile for us. No, I don't see Klaus on the screen. I don't think so he is there at all. Okay, we have Klaus coming in here. Let's go. This is the final attack for Navi. I apologize. Doesn't look like Klaus is using a player camera right now, so we have <laughs> we have mix of players on the screen. 
Okay, Klaus coming in here with the Queen Charge Lalo. Okay, I'm gonna put Jonas on the screen. Hello, Jonas. Just smile for us, you know? Pretend that you are OP, Klaus. <laughs> what do you think? How Klaus would be like right now, focusing on the attack and everything? <laughs> Poor Jonas on the screen now. Okay, Klaus is in. Coming in here right now with the long launcher. <laughs> Queen Charge there as well. And the log launcher nicely hitting uh, the mono. Is it gonna be enough for the mono need? Rocket balloons picking up the seeking air mines. Yet these are taking down uh, the monolith. We have. <laughs> I see what he's doing. Oh no, monolith is still up. Yeti mines are able to finish uh, the mono. Now the queen is on the lava. On the lava, sorry. Jonas is uh, distracting me, you know. I blame him. <laughs> Rego, thank you very much for gifting five. Thank you. Put Eric on the screen. Eric doesn't using the face cam. Thank you very much, Rego, for five YouTube memberships. <laughs> okay, let's go. Queen charging here. Queen is already taking down the enemy queen. We are going for the multi inferno. Right, she started getting the scatter shot quite low health. He got the scatter shot down the same time as the queen went down. They still have royal champion here with the ability here. Okay, I'm not gonna, uh, oh, Jonas, I'm not gonna do this. He, all right, he, he already smiled for us. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, no stop coming on him. I don't want to get him in not comfy situation there. All right, Tau Hall went down, RC is still pushing. Actually, the switching the healers on the RC, amazing job, because the Royal Champion getting the support. And we are being stuck in the Tornado Trap. Not sure if we're gonna have enough uh, loose here. RC is taking down the multi, uh, but that's it for her. We have the bunch of loose on the Scottish shoulder. They are very low HP. Can they get a Scott? They did. Any chance he can finish this? I don't think so. I think this is gonna be hold for ball. Very nice try from Klaus. I think that tornado was OP, you know? I try, nice try from Klaus. So the final scores for Navi will be 12 stars, which means they will be advancing to the next round of the Clusher Cup season four. Eighty-nine. We saw many attacks with the eighty-nine today. All right, GG to Clash. Congratulations to Navi. Have I said you were watching the match from the lower bracket of the Clasher Cup season four? That's mean. Clash is now out of the tournament and Navi is still surviving in the lower bracket. YouTube, thank you very much for all likes, all thumbs up. Rego, thank you very much for gifting five YouTube memberships. Uh, 